The next installation is to install Scene Builder 8. I haven't tried this one before, so this is going to be new for both of us. I have a website uh, to download Scene Builder. I want to download the Scene Builder Windows installer for x64, which is uh, the 64-bit machine. There are other installs here. I'm going to say download. And it's a relatively small 41 meg size file. I'm going to execute it. And looks good. Install. So far, so good. All right. So let's see what uh, uh, Scene Builder, Scene Builder 8. Okay, very good. And let's do this. Let's close the Scene Builder. I'm going to open up Eclipse again. I'm curious if Scene Builder 8 is going to fire when I open up an FXML file. Let's see. Right on. So I say new, new, other. Uh, I'm going to do a, excuse me, a um, JavaFX project. There we go. Next test, Java, JavaFX. Give it finish. May take a second or two. That was there. There we go. Close this JBoss stuff. And I'm probably going to turn this one off. I can turn this off so it doesn't show up every time. It's kind of annoying, actually. All right, so I'm going to go to Source, uh, Application. I'm going to right-click. Say, didn't want to do that. Sorry about that. Source application, right click, go to other, and I want to create an FXML file document, excuse me. And there we go. Now I'm going to right click and say open with scene builder. And I want to see it open with Scene Builder, and I'm going to go to Help about Scene Builder and see Scene Builder 2.0. That's not good. So I want this to be Scene Builder 8. Remember, was Scene Builder 8 before? So if I go to um, File Associations, FXML, and it has an FXML editor default. Let's say I say add, and then let's see. I'm looking for scene builder, and I'm not seeing it. Okay. I may do this in a future video, just so I don't have to hold you hostage to figure this out. But basically, what I want to do is associate FXML with that new scene builder program. Um, and this is going to be the same list, I bet. Yeah, let me find out where there was installed and I'll, I'll, I'll be back in a second. I'm back. Where, the, where that scene builder program installed, I went and right clicked it and went to properties and uh, went to open file location and it, it installed in this location there's scenebuilder.exe so let me cancel that okay here's what I want to do I want to go to Eclipse go to preferences type in file and go to file associations this is how Eclipse knows to open um, different files up so I'm going to go down to that fxml file I'm going to say add and then external programs and click browse browse and then 
uh, select the scenebuilder.exe. I already did it, so I'm not going to do it again. You notice here I have the, the default editor, and I'm going to say this is going to be the default now. This scene builder is the default, and I'm going to click OK. So what's going to happen is when I double click in FXML, it should open up scene builder. All right, I go to help about scene builder and it is scene builder eight. So I have this uh, FXML tied to the newer version of scene builder. If I want to open up the old way, I can still open with uh, open with FXML editor and get back to that XML editor if I wanted to. Great. So Java FX is installed. Scene Builder 8 is installed. Thank you very much.